everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Lewis's Adventures with me, Lewis, as your host. I'm a borderline autistic person with a taste for adventures. This series will be about adventures to things like surfing, scuba diving, and more. In this episode, we will talk about my first aquarium dive at Epcot's Dive Quest, which is part of my vacation to Walt Disney World with my sister and my mother. Today, I will be covering my refresher dive, my first pool dive in over six years in this segment. I have been certified to scuba dive since 2006, and I hope to get more open water dives under my belt in the future. The organization that certified me is called the Professional Association of Dive Instructors, or PADI for short. I will be diving with Scuba Delphia, who are located in the Ron Hurst section of Philadelphia, and today we will be using the William Penn Charter School in the East Falls section of Philadelphia. We are joined by today's guests, Dave Barnes and his wife Melissa, who will be my instructor today, and they are the owners of Scuba Delphia. I'm joined by three Patty Open Water Diver students named Victor, Lana, and Justin, while I'm the only certified diver in this class for a refresher. We all get geared up as Dave is making sure we put the tanks onto the BCs correctly, making sure the regulators are also on the tanks correctly, making sure we put our weights in the correct pockets of the BCs, keeping the gauges far away from our faces as we turn our tanks on, then test our regulators out to make sure they are working properly, and last but not least, I'm the first to enter the water. I performed the entry stride into the water, a skill that I had learned before getting certified to dive when I was training and getting certified to be an American Red Cross lifeguard. We all submerge as we deflate the air in our BCs for the different skills we perform. Both Dave and Melissa has me and the others start with the basics such as mask removal and replacement, clearing flooded masks, regulator purging, sharing air, out of air drills, swimming around in the deep end, buoyancy control, then we have a bit of underwater fun with Dave scooter and camera before surfacing to conclude the dive. I had to do the interview after the dive due to the fact things were busy during this class. Hi there, Dave and Melissa. I'm so glad to have you two as my first guests in my series. Thanks, we're glad to be here. I'm, I'm glad I got to meet you two back in August at the shop when my father took me. I wanted to see the shop up close in person as well as check out one of the meetings that the Philadelphia Seahorses Scuba Club has on each second Tuesday of each month. I really enjoyed the presentation about the stern of the Stolt the Galley Wreck. That's the wreck I should check out myself one of these days. Yeah, you should. Uh, Jersey diving is a lot of fun. We do a lot of Jersey diving. Um, Stolt's one of the most favorite wrecks for Jersey divers. Uh, it goes about 130 feet at the deepest, but you can start at about 60 feet, so it's good for anybody. I've been looking forward to the day that I geared up again because gearing up to dive is so much fun to do. Yes, it is. I'm glad that you could come and join us to do a refresher in the pool and get back in the water. Yeah, you got back to gearing up your, put all your gear together, uh, diving it. Your buoyancy looked great today. Um, and then, you know, eventually breaking your gear down and have an interview. How long have you two been diving for? I've been diving since 2007. I've been diving since uh, around 1995. Have you both ever taught any students similar to myself as well before, as well as with different disabilities before? Yes, Melissa and I are both handicapped scuba instructors. Uh, we've had uh, students with various uh, disabilities. We had one student that had cerebral palsy, but she had no use of her arms or legs. So to take her to Dutch Springs, we had to have uh, three divers with her. And we had her in a full face mask so she could actually equalize for herself because the nose block would seal her nose. And we just kind of drug around the quarry and uh, she had to see some fish and she had a, she had a blast. But she, doesn't, she has no mobility, but we were able to get her diving um, and she had a really great time. What made you both get into diving? Um, when Dave and I started dating, he asked me if I wanted to try, and I said sure. And I tried it, and I really liked it, so I got certified and just started diving after that. I just saw a little ad in a local paper, and I uh, went up to the, the YWC up the street from my house in Frankfurt, and uh, signed up for class, and the instructor said I was the youngest diver we ever had. I was uh, 16 at the time. Pretty, uh, pretty adventurous and uh, much different than it is today. 20 years ago made a lot of difference in the way that they taught you and uh, the length of time of scuba class. It was four weeks, it was eight hours a day, uh, lengthy class. Me, on the other hand, it was because of 
In fact, when I was little, I saw fictional material, you know, movies, TVs, shows, video games as well. And of course, the movie Into the Blue, that's what sealed the deal for me. Oh yeah, everybody has a different reason why they get into it, whether it's older people like the Sea Hunt, I remember that old show that was on TV, or nowadays you have uh, different movies that uh, depict scuba diving, and some people just like to, to explore the ocean. That felt so good to get back underwater with a tank for the first time in a long time. You did good, so have fun at Epcot, so you're ready for, to go uh, do some pretty cool diving, come back and see us and we'll get you in a full face mask. Okay then. I also look forward to eventually doing advanced diving, which is too. Cool. So we'll wait till it warms up next summer. We'll get you back up, back in the pool, play around a full face mask, and we'll go up to Dutch and we'll do advanced. Now it's time for the real deal when we get to Orlando. Good morning. It's October 8th, 2015. Myself, my mother, and sister are about to head to the airport to catch our plane. All right, we have made it to the airport and are about to board our flight. We finally touched down in Orlando, Florida at the Orlando International Airport. We are now at the Disney All-Star Sports Resort where we will be staying at for this trip in two days is the moment I have been waiting to share. Okay everyone, we have made it to Dive Quest at the Seas with Nemo and Friends Pavilion. No cameras are allowed during the tour, so my sister Grace Anna and my mother Yolanda will be filming me while diving. During this dive, I will get to see two eight-foot-long sand tiger sharks, three sandbar sharks, some sea turtles, and so much more. For this dive, I'm joined by 16 others who some of them tell me that they have done this before, while others, like myself, it was their very first time. We all follow the dive master and safety divers as we swim around the tank with Hyro filming us. Then after swimming around the tank, we swim freely. Then I swim over to the tank to wave to my mother and sister who are watching, then swim over to others either in the aquarium or in the restaurant. As I'm swimming, there are sharks, turtles, and all kinds of fish around me and everyone else. I thought to myself, I can't believe that I'm even doing this. Then later, as we are all low on air, we surface and the dive ends as we walk to our lockers to get changed and then head up to the meeting room. That was so amazing. I look forward to cover more dives in future episodes. Until next time, this is Lewis coming to you from Dive Quest at the Nemo Friends Pavilion at Epcot in Orlando, Florida. Bye for now. If you like this video, hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure.